Hi there, Luke from iVolts here. Uh, lovely to see you all again. Um, we're very excited to hear we have our Silent Alchemist having been shipped from the factory into our warehouse. So we're literally days away from uh, shipping out to you the world's first isolated USB uh, power hub. And we're, we're just so excited. I wanted today to, to just share with you like some of that journey uh, in that like that's been a really exciting adventure for us and uh, I think that if I explain it to you uh, our story will maybe uh, tell you a little bit about USB power how it works and things to be aware of uh, things that are changing in the future I don't know if you know this but uh, in 2028 the EU has said that all external power supplies need to have a USB-C uh, connection on them so everything is going to change and I think we all uh, will need to know a bit about USB power and we'll have you know, a foot in both camps until the, the, the tran transition happens. So hopefully uh, we can be the guys that can uh, help you to know enough to, to make it a simpler transition. Um, so like I said, uh, we're very close to shipping our isolated USB power supply, but I want to tell you how we got there, how that, uh, that sort of, you know how that began, uh, and I saw like uh, I suppose we, if we go back to when I started selling power supplies 20 years ago. Um, so you may have one of these little boxes in your house. This is a like a standard USB, a standard DC power supply. Uh, this particular one is for a Korg Volca. We started selling uh, power supplies online about 20 years ago, and uh, it was a very interesting uh, time to be doing that. Um, is uh, we were we were if not the first one of the first to make life a little bit easier for customers in that we matched up the specification of the power supply with the object that people wanted to power. So rather than you looking for a nine volt center positive power supply with a particular tip, you could just look for a Korg Volca power supply, which is what you actually needed. So that was. Uh, something that um, we started very early on uh, trying to resolve and in the first 10 years of our, of, of, uh, our selling power supplies that's all we did but we realized there was issues the, there was uh, things that people wanted beyond that for example our first product that we developed uh, was we made uh, we found that people wanted to power a number of cord volcas so we made a, a splitter cable which allowed you to plug in one power supply but power up to five volcas from that from that power supply so that was uh, very well received and people really enjoyed it um, but this this whole area sort of a window opened up for us in terms of we looked at all the things that people powered and for whatever reason uh, we were dealing mostly with the aftermarket power supply uh, market, and we 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 found that um, you know whether it was people lost their power supply, their rabbit ate it, or whatever happened, um, a lot of the things that people needed to power, particularly you know synths and pedals, were actually quite low power, and we had a look at USB. I mean, I wondered myself. Uh, I when I when I got my phone, uh, I you know. Uh, I, when I first got it, I would get a full power supply with it, but after a couple of years, they would only ship uh, the phone and a cable, and I thought, why can't it be like this for everything? And so that gave me the idea that when I knew that USB was increasing in power, and we had this great window, you know, we maintained a database of maybe 20,000 different devices at the time, so we knew what power was required, and we realized that, like, 80% of the things that we were selling power supplies for could actually be powered uh, by USB if it had the right connector and if it had the right voltage. So we, um, this is 10 years ago, uh, we started by making our first and maybe not too attractive but uh, functional uh, USB to DC adapter. And this was the first one made in the world. Uh, no one else was making them at, these, uh, at this stage. So it was USB A on one side and it would take your five volt power and it would convert to nine volt DC out on the other end. So you plug this in and it would get the polarity right as well. So it powers your pedal and it was a nice easy life. Now, like I said, it needed a little bit of work. There wasn't much consideration. It was a, a, quite a functional product. So what we did then was, I think uh, we, uh, about eight years ago, we brought together a team of designers and we looked 
we talked to all our customers and we asked people what their concerns and needs were and as a result we developed uh, our Ripcord product which is similar in that it's, it's USB-A on one end and DC on the other end. So uh, we, we, there was some added features, you know, a convenient cable tidy, we've colour coded uh, each connection so you can see which is which. Um, and we also did a bit of work on making sure it was as, as quiet as, possible, as it possibly could because when we're in this new USB world, it was different than the, the, the standard plug in a wall world. There wasn't the AC hum that you might get, but there were other issues. So we spent a lot of time trying to get that one right um, and, and, and that was very useful. You can see one of those rip cords plugged in right here to the Science Alchemist, which has two USB-A ports. So this plugs in straight, straight into that and allows you um, in this instance to, to, to power pedal. So uh, that was a very useful product and um, people really liked it but one of the things was that this was like the, the sort of dawn of USB powering your, your, your synths and pedals but um, we found that it could be a little bit noisier than your uh, plug top situation. Now we didn't think it had to be that way and like I said we did a lot of work on developing getting the the, uh, the right sort of circuitry that would reduce any noise. Um, but we also thought, like, fire your devices, fire your Volcas, fire your pocket operators, uh, if you did something uh, which, like, maybe reduce the noise a bit more, so it would be helpful. So, so what we did is we developed this product here, which is our MyVolts mixer, okay? So this was a simple add-on that we, um, has, has one output and five inputs. It's a, it's a little passive stereo mixer. And uh, the other thing that this has is it actually has ground loop isolators in the audio connections. So each of the, uh, 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 sorry, on the output here. So, so e each of the five inputs go in and then it gets cleaned as it goes through. So the combination of this and our USB power meant that you had uh, a situation which was better than your wall plug um, sort of power strip uh, situation but we still felt that um, firstly um, you know it wasn't as good as it could be and also there were some devices which just couldn't be powered so the next thing that we did was we developed uh, what we call step up so this is um, you know does the same job as ripcord but uh, the difference here is that it's got DC on one end and USB-C on the other. So all of these outputs here from uh, the Science Alchemist, all these USB-C connectors here, these are just a standard USB-C cable, but they have one of these guys on the end, and that turns your, what was your uh, like DC powered device into something that can now be USB-C powered. And in order to, to do that for a large range of devices, there were larger devices, I mean, thinking about you like your, Electron Analog 4 or similar, that it wasn't possible to power via USB-C uh, or wasn't uh, via USB at all. Whereas with this, um, you can get up to 100 watts. Um, you know, uh, we've got like a, a 19 volt one there that can power a whole modular skiff. You know, you can you can you can uh, get like a full range. You know, that allowed us to have a full range of devices that could be powered. So that was really exciting. Um, the the next step then, we thought, was that we, we realized that uh, although we could now power everything um, and, you know, uh, the, the, the difficulty was that um, in order to sort of make that as good as it could be, you really needed to isolate your, your power connections. So we spent the last four years developing the Silent Alchemist, which is, as I said, it's an isolated USB power hub. It's the first in the world. Um, and what it is, is it's got, it's got a power channel uh, which has 20 watts in each case uh, via the, the two USB-A a ports here and five of these USB-C ports. There's, a, there's a, a last port which is not isolated. I mean, effectively, it's isolated from all the others in that the others are isolated, but it doesn't have isolation, so we can give that full power. So that has 100 watts coming out. So that's great for your laptop or for like a projector or anything like that. It means that you've got a full, full, full spread of devices can be powered. Um, so uh, the, the great advantage of this isolation, as I said, is that it means that 
you can uh, remove any ground loops. And ground loops are the, uh, the core problem with powering multiple uh, instruments from a single source. This is something that um, guitarists have worked out. Um, they, uh, if you look at any uh, pedal board setup, any professional pedal board setup, they'll always use an isolated power supply. And that has a number of outputs, each one uh, going to a particular pedal. And so what we're effectively doing is we're learning from, from what the guitarists have known for 10 years. And we've said, okay, well, if that works for, for, for guitar pedals, let's try and do it for all USB devices. And this uh, device um, will power both things that are natively USB, that's USB-A or USB-C, uh, you know, the, uh, they will always uh, power straight away, but also things which have DC power, like I said, with these different voltage adapters, and they come in a range of different voltages, different colors for different voltages and different polarities. Uh, that will mean that no matter what you have, no matter what instrument you have, unless it's like an AC wall powered uh, item, um, you'll be able to power your desktop very easily and conveniently. So um, we're hoping that this will sit comfortably on your desktop and maybe help you solve some of those problems. Like I said, 2028 is the year where the EU have said that external power supplies uh, have to meet this uh, eco-design protocol. And in that, anything up to 240 watts has to have a USB-C connector for powering. It's so they can make things um, more swappable effectively. So if you're thinking about the Scient Alchemist, that will allow you to uh, have the advantage of, of both situations in that anything which is USB in the future uh, or anything that is DC from the past will always work with our USB power hub. So yeah, that's, um, that's really all I wanted to say. I just wanted you to uh, get an idea, uh, pass it over to you, how excited we are about this. Uh, it's been, like I said, it's been a long journey for us. It's been at least 10 years in the making. We feel now that we've delivered like USB power for mobile professionals, be it musicians, uh, people who are you know, um, podcasting, people who are uh, doing AV work. Uh, I've actually got one of our step ups powering this camera. I've got a Blackmagic camera there and it's uh, powered with one of these 12 volt step ups. Uh, it makes everything simple and easy. Um, you know, the, I think the, the more you work with an elegant, simple solution like this that only requires a small cable, the less you want to use cumbersome plug uh, power strips and, and, and uh, you know, have to sort of like live with those items. So I think it's an exciting future. So thanks again for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave any questions below. Uh, like I said, we'd love to be the guys that help you understand a bit more of this stuff. And uh, the way you do that is, is ask us some questions. So thanks again for your time.